When we are young, we question everything. Where does that incredible curiosity go? Before our formation, we care, we trust, we love. We let ourselves get carried away. We let ourselves get pulled right back. A never ending tide pulled not by the moon, but by our desires to learn. There are no judgments, no nagging thoughts of what we should do or what we think that others think that we should do. Where does that incredible confidence go? Before we are concrete, we wander, we wonder, we discover this beauty, this agonizing beauty it spirals out of control, forming a typhoon that should carry us away. Instead, some of us neglect it. Those who choose to follow this hollow path find themselves in the heart of nothing, leaving them with no voices of their own, leaving them with no thoughts that they own. And those who burn the matches handed to them find not a phoenix, but only ash. They stop and ask, well, isn't this why we're here? We did it all. For what? Monotony. The redundant drone of nothingness looms overhead from sunrise to sundown. Day in and day out, the colors of life have become nothing but gray. Details unnoticed, habits etched into stone, unbreakable. The road ahead crumbles as it fades, no winds or turns, no surprises, nothing but a path to darkness. What now? And now she comes, slowly, silently. Inching forward, she crawls under their skin and it hammers at the nerves in their teeth, exhuming their every last hope and filling that hole with regret. Not only regret in retrospect, but regret for what's about to come. The pain she inflicts is not taken as the warning as she meant it. Knowingly, they ignore her presence, inching forward in melancholy unison, a sea of tin and iron meticulously washing up on the black sand, losing a washer and a screw every time the tide pulls them back in, leaving them with no notion of what they once knew, no idea of love or hate or trust, Apathy, that is what's left. For life, what even is life to them? They mechanically hum, pretending that they care, raising their arms but not their thoughts, for of thoughts they are incapable. She has picked away their every last one, like a crow that feasts on a rotten corpse, a corpse which was once a body, a body that could have belonged to any one of us had we ignored her warning as they so foolishly did. Why in our right minds would we join their band, drum to their metallic monotony when we could strum to our own sense? Why make her struggle and deplete us of our inner essence instead of letting her sing songs of joy as petals float down onto a Sunday's field? Should we let her harmony fill our ears with melodic highs and lows flowing freely around us, capturing us? For the first time, we hear our hearts beating. 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 
faintly. She continues to sing, louder, 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 until we feel the warmth of her song flowing through our entire body. Yes, we are sculpted out of nothing, from form to form. <laughs>